Now, one of the most searched topics of the week will likely be the Atlanta backfield. What do we do with this with Cordell Patterson on the IR out for four games at least? Who's going to be taking over? My initial reaction is I don't know that any of them are actually going to be viable, but for some reason, my gut's telling me Tyler Algier really has some upside. 20% rostered. I would spend about 15 to 18% of my fab to go get the kid. I liked what I saw in the preseason. Churner, not exciting, but just falls forward, always getting yards. And we saw that this week. 10 carries for 84 yards. Hauls in the only running back to get a target outside of Coral Passion. Hauls it in for 20 yards. Broken tackles. Looks great. In fact, out of his 84 yards, 44 of them came after contact. Just a nice little bullish effort from this guy. Uh, and ultimately played 44% of the snaps, by far the team high at the running back position. So he seemed to be the next man up, seemed to be the first one up there, and all he did was perform well with it. Granted, Caleb Huntley also saw 10 carries. It was kind of interesting, 10 straight rushes. Caleb Huntley was a bowling ball. Don't forget this guy, 1,713 yards, 18 touchdowns in his final 15 games at Ball State. I saw a couple of comparisons out there from Roto World, like Maurice Jones drew vibes. Anybody I talk puts Maurice Jones drew in a sentence by date, tugging at my heartstrings. Loved that player for so long with such a fantasy stud. That's what Huntley's built like that short little compact bowling ball. And he ran like it. So, I mean, if you don't get Algier, you don't want to spend 25 bucks. Maybe you stash Huntley and see if this guy who did out carry him in the preseason gets more of the work. He definitely is viable at the stripe of goal line bulldozer. And again, they went to him 10 straight times and just drove them down the field and, and scored. So Huntley can also get it done. That's why I'm not like sprinting to get Algier, but I really think they're rookie this year. I think the team's going to give him the first crack at it and see if he can get done. Now I've also seen the tweets, Damian Williams. Let's not forget about him. Right. And that's viable too. The guy was the starter entering the year, even with Patterson healthy, they had him out there for the first few snaps. Now he didn't last more than a handful before he got hurt. So uh, let's wait till we crown him as the king and heir apparent here to the backfield. Because I really think if Algier performs well, they're not going to be like, oh, well, we had Damian Williams in week one. We have to go back to him now. I really think that Tyler Algier is going to get the crack to really take this over again. Led the backfield snaps, routes, tied with the team high on 10 carries, did the most damage with his 10. Tyler Algier did. The only thing he really didn't do was score. And that went to Caleb Huntley. That's why it could be a nightmare. But I'd go Algier first then Huntley, and then, yeah, Damian Williams, if you can get him for, for free and it's you can stash him at the after-the-fact type of thing, okay, he can be viable on benches too. But facing Tampa Bay, I don't know that any of them will be immediate must-plays. The schedule does soften up for a couple weeks after that, though. Uh, so I think if you need a running back, I would look to Algier over some of the other names you might find on waiver wireless, like Mike Boone. No, thank you. We'll talk about why I'm not in on him. Give me Algier over him for sure. What is up, you fantasy wolf? Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, share your thoughts in the comments, check out some more videos, and join the newest Wolfpack by subscribing below.